Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would sit down and do something a little bit different. Lately I have been seeing this new Urban Decay powder going around that you're supposed to put into your foundation and mix it up with your foundation and it's meant for that. You're supposed to mix it in and that's it. I was wondering if I used a powder that I already have, so this is my Kat Von D powder, and mix it in with my normal foundation, if that would work just as well or if you do have to buy the Urban Decay powder. Um, to make it work. So if you want to see if it works with what you have at home, then just make sure you keep on watching. So the powder from Urban Decay is called the Urban Decay the Velvetizer Translucent Mix in Medium and it is $42 that you do have to pay for it. Now I have heard good, good reviews on this product but I want to see if I could use what I have at home to do the same thing. So what I did is I grabbed my Kat Von D Translucent Powder and this is a very finely milled powder. Uh, apparently so is the Urban Decay one, so I wanted to grab one that is very, or my most finely milled. And then I grabbed this Hydrate and Smooth, this is just a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And we're going to put these together and we're going to see what happens on my face today. So, I'm going to start off, I'm going to start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to prime one half of my face, I'm going to prime the left half of my face to see what happens. And we'll see if the primer does make any difference or if it does not. Alright, so the left side of my face is primed again with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that I have here. And we're going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and my Kat Von D Translucent Powder. And to mix, so what I'm going to use is just the back of this. It's a Special Occasions BH Cosmetics palette. I got a few years back. I hardly ever use it. But I'm going to use the back of this palette just to mix everything together. So I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is the Hydrate and Smooth formula and this is in the shade 235 Pure Beige. I picked this up because I have been a little bit darker lately with being out in the sun. So I just dumped about, if you can see, this much just on my palette. Now what I'm going to do is just start with dumping just some of the Kat Von D just into this lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump that in there. Okay, so we'll start with about this much, if you can see, of the powder. And I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to grab a brush, just an eyebrow brush, eyeshadow brush, and just mix that all together. Alright, so it's looking like this. What I'm going to do is just put some on my face. And I do like this foundation more with one of these dense brushes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up and just start applying that to the face. We might have a little bit too much foundation here, so let's start with this. And we're just going to go ahead and work this in. Okay, so first thing I noticed is this foundation matched me yesterday, and already, if you can see, I guess it does match my arms, but it is, I think, maybe oxidizing a little bit on me with this powder in it, but it definitely is giving this foundation a more full coverage than it is without the powder. So, so far, I would say if you want a more full coverage foundation, or if you have a fake foundation and you're going out one night or something and you want something a little bit more full coverage, this might be a good option for you. This is looking really almost orange though on me, very Oompa Loompa. So hopefully we can fix that just with some concealer after. And just make sure whenever something's too dark on you, just blend it all the way down your neck. And one thing I was curious to see is because this is the, why I picked this foundation is because this is the hydrate one, so it's supposed to be kind of dewy, kind of luminous. I wanted to see if putting the translucent powder maybe made it some more matte, but so far I don't think it is. It's still looking pretty luminous, pretty dewy. So I did use a little bit too much as you can see here. I think it went further than what it would have normally, so there's still quite a bit left on my palette. So I'm just going to quickly clean this off. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then I will come and tell you kind of how I feel about the whole thing. One thing to note as well, right back here, one thing to note as well, is I don't find that the foundation applied any differently with the prime side compared to the not prime side, so far anyways. 
But again, I'll come back and we'll check in and see how everything sat over top and go from there. All right, so I've applied the rest of my makeup on my face. I did take a video. I recorded it, so this will be up as a tutorial. Not sure which, which one is going to go up first, but I will have the links down below if it's up already, etc. And I think everything applied really nicely on my face over top. As for the primed and not primed side, like I'm really not seeing a difference. The only, actually, the on primed side looks a little bit less textured maybe, like a tad, but I'm not sure if that's just my skin or what. But overall, I think it applied really nicely. Like I said, it did give me a fuller coverage on the foundation. Like the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, I would say would be like a medium coverage. And it definitely builds it up to a full coverage foundation, which I really enjoyed. So I think I'll be doing this method again. Not sure how it's going to last on the face throughout the day. I can keep you guys posted if I remember. Don't worry about my lashes, you guys. It's just... It's been a morning <laughs> with the lashes. But um, if I remember, I can come down and keep you guys posted. It's currently 12.08 in the morning, afternoon, noon, whatever you want to call it. So maybe I'll check in with you guys here in a few hours. I'm going to run over to my mom's and start addressing some thank you cards for the wedding. And I'll come back, let you know how everything's sitting within a few hours here and how it's holding up throughout the day. But so far, I think I really like it. What I did was I put on concealer and then I did repowder my face as well to hold it all in because it was still a dewy foundation. But so far, I really like how this is holding up. So we will see you guys just in a few hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is currently 3.37 in the afternoon, if you can see that on my phone. So it's been about three and a half hours, four hours since I applied the foundation. And so far it is holding up pretty well. Right now, outside it is pretty humid, so I am getting a little bit oily, which, I mean, it happens. The Kat Von D powder that I used isn't the best at keeping me mattified regardless. Besides that, it is holding up pretty well. I don't see anywhere that it's fading or breaking up. I a lot of the time get the first place the foundation starts breaking up with me is right on my chin. And it isn't doing that yet. So that's always a nice sign. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit more of the same Kat Von D powder just to kind of mattify a little bit more. Just the places I need it. You don't want to look too cakey, so don't put it everywhere, just where you need it. Ooh. Dowish a lot of powder. Whoops. <laughs> Guess we're baking my forehead, huh? Jeez. Okay. So if you ever had that happen, just grab a clean brush and just eh, brush that away. But yeah, so it is holding up pretty good. Been on like I said for about almost four hours now and I'm pretty impressed so far. This foundation lasts a decent amount of time but it's not like a crazy amount of longevity to it. I would say about six hours for me just before four to six hours actually before it kind of starts breaking up on my chin and my cheeks down here and stuff and so far it is staying on very well so I'm very impressed so far. I will check back in in a few more hours and let you guys know how it is continuing to hold up. All right, everyone, I am back, I think for the last time this evening. It is currently 5.48 in the evening, so I'm about to take off my makeup probably in the next little bit or so. So I thought I'd come do my last check-in. So, so far, I think the foundation has held up very well. Um, again, my chin has not broken up yet, and below here is still hanging on pretty well. The only place it looks a little bit cakey is right in between my brows here, but that happens quite often regardless. Other than that, I think my foundation has held up very well. The only thing in my cheek here has a little spot. I'm not sure if you can see that little blank spot, but I don't know if that's from the foundation or if that's maybe I was playing there or something with my face. Who knows? I would definitely probably do this trick again. I think it kept on my makeup very well throughout the day. 
I don't know if I do it all the time since it is an extra step. I mean, nobody needs that on a daily basis, but um, I'm definitely, I would do, definitely do this for some special occasions or if I need my makeup to last a little bit longer. Definitely do the step again. Do I think you need to go ahead and buy the Urban Decay, the new setting powder? I don't think so. I think if you have a powder that is finely milled enough and you added it in, try it out. The Kat Von D one I think worked quite well. Now I can't say that the Urban Decay one maybe works better. I haven't tried it. I'm not sure. But I don't think you need to buy it. I really don't. I think if you have another powder sitting at home, I think it would definitely do the trick. If you want a more coverage foundation, if you want your foundation more highly covered, highly covered foundation, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, if you want a foundation that has more coverage in it, I think this will do the trick for you guys, just like so. So, I really hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.